afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Film My Run on Zwift. My name is Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax and watch me do all the hard work. Welcome to the next see in the series of the New Balance training runs, and um, we are off and running in oh a minute. Let me see, Is that a couple of minutes? No, five minutes or so. Before we start, um, and I am just getting the stream set up, so bear with me while I fiddle around with a few things. We're doing quite a hard session today. It's a, t a 10K tempo run and a tempo run, quite high heart rate for a tempo run. You're going to be pushing it quite a bit. So if anyone is doing the run tonight, be wary, be, be aware. I am going to watch Facebook chat. I'm going to watch YouTube chat. I'm not quite there just yet. Shall we share this to... Uh, oh, Ryan Perring. Have a good one. I ran it at 12. Was planning to run it again now, but got some rib pain. Oh, no. Not sure if that's because of how hard the session was. Yeah, I, I am thinking it is going to be a fairly hard set. I wrote it, so I should know, shouldn't I, really? But, yeah, I think it is a fairly tough session today. Thierry Macklin, hello to you. I think, I think about sorted. Hello to everyone watching on Facebook. Hello to everyone watching on YouTube. Nice to have you with me. Thank you very much for joining. And we're off, we're off now. We are going in 18 seconds, 15 seconds. Treadmill is working. I double checked it. <laughs> so we're off and going. Five seconds and away we go. Oh. Right, so we're starting off at 11.4, so we're already up to a fairly speedy speed. <laughs> Is that going to focus? Camera one needs to focus. Come on, camera one. Hello, I'm down here. I'm here. I'm here. Focus on me. Focus here. <laughs> there we are. Got it. Oh my god. Okay, so Ryan Perring. 
got a 10k PB, a Zwift 10k PB today on the, doing this session. So that's how tough this session is. I'm not looking forward to my own session. How about that? One mile warm up. Two seconds, I'm just going to change the screen so I can see a bit better. <laughs> right, here we got Christophe Verdu has joined us. Emily Williams is there, Brian Dell is there. Carol Rushworth is there, Coet is there, Kiriaku, Lucas, quite a few names I recognise, one or two I don't, everyone's going at their own pace, so uh, we won't be, we won't be running as a group as such. Okay, thanks Ryan. This is week five of our 10 week series, looking at different marathon training sessions. Um, I've got, I'm wearing my, my new New Balance gear today. So because this run is sponsored by New Balance, they very kindly sent me some gear. So they sent me some shoes, and t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> and this is the, uh, the 2020 London Marathon gear. So this is the stuff that you'll be able to buy at the London Marathon Expo in, uh, in April. Oh no, Thierry Macklin has gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh no. So, a kilometre to go of the warm-up. I hope you can get back to us, Terry, or just do the run. We're not going to be as a group, really, so... You can still do the, the, group, the run, as it were. Right, it's no messing about today. This is a tough, a tough old 10K. It's actually slightly more than 10k, isn't it? Look. Oh no, no, it is 10k, tell a lie. Seeing as my calves are shot to pieces, I may not last this, I may just have to dial it down a bit later on. Because uh, I don't want to do any more damage than's already done to them. So very gradually ramping up the pace and we start the main set at 13 kilometers per hour. <laughs> and Matt Dawson did the Tri Academy workout earlier. Kill a cross country race on the beach yesterday. <laughs> Oh, definitely take it easy today then. And yes, uh, Jonathan, I can see Carol's with us tonight. I was just saying I may have to slow down a bit later because I don't think my calves are quite up to this today. So we'll just go 
go with the flow for the first four kilometers and then see how it depends how I feel but I might ease off a bit remember these are all set to your own personal settings so not everyone is going the pace that I'm going some people are going faster and some are going slower and it all depends on your previous runs on Zwift and Zwift will automatically set the pace that it feels that you're able to manage so just keep keep an eye on my heart rate which is currently 109 takes me a couple of miles to to warm into a run anyway so I might get a couple of miles in and feel okay oh thanks Ryan yeah okay so I could drop it yeah I can yeah I can drop it down can't I without losing stars If any of you saw my my run last night, <laughs> you'll know I couldn't get my treadmill connected. I had to run using the stride foot pod. So I made sure today that the treadmill connected. All right, here we go up to 13 for the first kilometre. Or well, the first first main part of the session. Willie, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Neil Philip Messenger, hello. Uh, yeah, the new kit. Um, they've actually sent me shorts that I don't normally wear. I normally wear kind of tight fitting shorts, so I'm having to get used to these kind of flappy shorts. And I'm normally in a vest, but today I've got a t shirt on, so. <laughs> I may not be quite as cool as I'd hoped to be. I haven't turned my fan on. There we are. That should help a little bit. Heart rate 120. Oh, Ryan, honestly, I know. That's why I turned to those tight fitting shorts in the first place. Thomas. 
Yes, Brian, I just didn't have a choice in what they sent me. They just sent me whatever they had, I think. I suppose I could have been picky and specified exactly what I wanted, but... There we are. Nice of them to send me stuff anyway. And I mean, it is decent stuff. Yes, Jonathan. I, I almost certainly will. My calves are not good, so we'll stick with it for the next two or three kilometers and uh, probably hold back a little bit later on. I should say energy efficient running is key. Carol says she's liking my t-shirt. Thank you very much. Oh, you're liking your t-shirt or my t-shirt? Uh, Neil already says I'm doing awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Well, before the aerial view, Ryan, I didn't wear anything. <laughs> I just felt I had to put something on. <laughs> All right, then. Up to 13.3. A little bit faster. shorts, Carol. Jonathan, I promise you I will. This is not big talk. I'm not going to suddenly fly off and be all manly. Problem is, now that I've said that, if I actually do feel good in a mile or two, I've, got, I've still got to slow down, haven't I? Because I've promised everybody I'll slow down. <laughs> Let's at least get to halfway doing the proper, the proper prescribed speed. So just over two kilometers to go to halfway. Thank you, Andrew. Get up. Right, anyone who wants to win a Zwift pod, please uh, comment on Facebook or on YouTube why you think you should have one. And uh, I will send it to the most worthy cause. So it was just YouTube last week, but let's do YouTube and Facebook. Just comment, say why you think you deserve a Zwift, a Zwift run pod. And I'll choose the best excuse. Neil, that's an awesome time for 10K. That's, my PB is only 39 minutes. So 40 minutes for a 10K is awesome, Neil.
okay? Thanks, Ryan. I didn't sound convinced then, did I, Ryan? Sorry. <laughs> so we're going over the flat and rolling hills, some of the oldest parts of Zwift we're running on today. This run should be slower than your 5k and 10k race pace. Well, it is that, that's for sure. terrible for that uh, Jonathan yeah when I tell people that I always have to check myself because I'm terrible for doing that across the front of my body and that's why I always say point in a straight line everything in a straight line going forward feet toes head eyes hands arms always pushing forward and not across. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it's a case of do as I say, not as I do. Ryan it still looks brand new doesn't it but I often think that about the runners as well so the further you go in a run the more disheveled your avatar should look Okay, so there we are, four kilometers done. So I, I'm definitely in zone four. And following my own advice, I shouldn't get to zone five, and if I do, I should slow down. you should be doing these runs if you're doing your first marathon Tonya start slowly start easy depends what you've done before of course there's lots of training advice online And of course, it depends how fast you want to run. But typically, for marathon training, you need to be doing... A beginner should work up to around 30 miles a week, with more experience, 50 to 60 miles a week. And you divide those miles over different kinds of training sessions which is what we're doing here every week we do a different kind of marathon training session 
So you need to include a long run, interval training, tempo running, some hill sessions. And uh, in your training, make your longest run. Do, you do a long run once a week. And each week, build up the miles. So add a couple of miles each week. And before your marathon, your longest run should be about 20 miles or so, about three to four weeks away from your actual race. Sixty-five. Nice one, Sarah. Good luck. Well done, Tori. Okay, great stuff. Well, listen, Neil, if you can do a 40 minute 10K, you should be able to do a sub 20 minute 5K. Definitely. Just keep going for it. But don't never go off too fast. If you want a sub 25K, your first kilometer should be four minutes. Your second kilometer should be four minutes. Third kilometer, four minutes. Fourth kilometer, four minutes. And your fifth kilometer with a nice sprint in the last 100 meters, three minutes, 55 seconds. That's how you do it. Handsome plan is a well respected, well known plan. No reason why you can't use it. Right, I'm pushing zone five in a minute, so. Time to relax and not push it so hard. So I'm not going to go up here, I'm going to stay at 14.
Okay, Neil, go for it. It's a bit strange, isn't it? I don't know why. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I'm running Zwift on a different computer and it may not have updated properly. So I'm actually going to slow it down after this kilometre. Uh, Tonya, is it Tonya? Yeah, Tonya. Um, best advice for not hitting a wall is lots of training. The reason you hit the wall, though, is because you run out of glycogen. So, hitting the wall is your body converting from burning glycogen, sugar, as fuel, to burning fat as fuel. Fat metabolizes a lot slower in the body, which is why you slow down. So either you find a way to keep topped up with glycogen for the full 26. Or you can do something else, which is do quite a few of your training runs on an empty stomach. And that, over time, will teach your body how to burn fat more efficiently. So you're less likely to hit the wall and you're less likely to need sugary drinks and gels, which can cause stomach issues. Actually going to slow down a bit now. and get my heart rate down a bit. Uh, this is a 10k run, so 6.2 miles, Neil. If you look at the screen, on the left-hand side, you can see it says 10 kilometer threshold run, and you can see how many miles, how many kilometers have got to go.
So given that my heart rate is 168, this is still a tempo run. So although I've slowed down, this is actually achieving what it's supposed to achieve. This is supposed to be a run in zone four of your heart rate. So it actually doesn't matter what pace you run at, as long as your heart rate is in zone four. Yes, Brian, less sugar. Are you, are you eating and drinking a lot of sugary stuff, especially in hot weather? Oh, that'll be good, Michael. Look forward to having you back. <laughs> Cheers, Jonathan. Nearly finished the video from this weekend as well. So definitely finding this tough now. Uh, saw, Ryan. Still, especially my left one. <laughs> so there we are, two kilometers left. 
one mile of effort left. This is not a speed session, it's a controlled, disciplined cardio and endurance workout. Hold out, Ryan. Yeah, he'll be fine. Just sore. I'm not injured. I'm just still recovering from Saturday night. Glad you like it, Ryan. Took me a long time. Right, last kilometre. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. I should be buying a tartan blanket and going on saga holidays. feeling about this. No problem, Tonya. Take care.
250 meters to go. Yeah, definitely. easy now. Not so easy. for the downs. Ryan, head onto the hills. Or just run along the seafront. Thierry Narkeling gone. Oh well. And there we are, 10k done. Just over 45 minutes. Oh dear. Carol, how to get rid of a stitch? Um, well, try to eat well before your run and make sure it's digested. I think, and um, don't have spicy foods, too, and foods that are too salty or too acidic. Certainly foods that are too acidic before you run. How to get rid of a stitch? Stop running, slow down. That's what you've got to do, just slow down. There's no, there are no prizes in training sessions for injuring yourself because you've gone off, you've gone crazy fast or, you know, you do what you need to do. And if that means you can complete the session, great. If, it, if you can't, then you reassess and you restructure. Um, You know, it's too many people think they failed if they can't complete a session. And it's not true, you know, it's just sometimes you feel on it, sometimes you're not, sometimes, well, there are loads of different parameters and factors that you have to take into consideration as to why you might have performed better on one day than another. Now, there are, of course, there are loads of things you can do to mitigate problems and, you know, good amounts of decent training but not overtraining, um, varying your training on in different speeds, different terrains, 
even different times of day, different temperatures. So to get your body used to all those different things, um, finding the food that fits well with you, that sits well on your stomach, especially over long distances, and building up slowly if you're a new runner. Don't, don't start by trying to run 10 miles at seven minute miles, you know? Do two miles, run, walk it if you have to. Um, so, you know, loads of things that can go wrong in your training. And it's not always something that you can put your finger on and you just have to take it on the chin and reassess and rebuild, restructure and go again the next time. And that guys is our New Balance Marathon training run for this week. Next week, we're doing a hill session. So we're using incline on the treadmill. Remember, if you want to be the proud owner of a, my, of a I know, nearly said milestone then, of a Zwift run pod, if you want a Zwift run pod, if you think you know anyone who might benefit from getting a Zwift run pod, uh, comment in the Facebook page or on the YouTube channel why you think you should get one. And uh, I have some to give away, so I will send one to the most worthy cause. Right, guys, I think that is it. I'm going to go and have a shower. And we'll see you. Um, I might do. I might do something tomorrow if I feel up to it. I might do one of the um, a try Zwift Tri Academy bike rides or runs. Uh, so we'll see see that up. Thierry, thanks. One kilometre. Oh, because I tried to give you a ride on Thierry and I couldn't see you on the screen. Um, yeah. So we might do something tomorrow. If not, we'll be back for Monday Run Club on Monday night. Take care, guys. See you later.